One of Britain's rising stars in the saddle. On track for Rio, Vicky Williamson, a sprinter with lightning speed, the world at her feet. In flying form two months ago, qualifying for the final in Rotterdam, a final that ended in disaster and a career-threatening crash. What memories do you have of the accident? Um, none, actually, which is probably pretty good, so it's not going to put me off um, in the future, definitely. Um, yeah, just blanked out, really. I remember holding onto the fence, getting ready to roll up to the final, and then next thing I know, I was in hospital and someone was telling me you, you'd had an accident. And I just responded with, did I win? Did I win? That was all I was worried about. So, um, yeah, I don't remember anything. And what damage was done? Um, I fractured my neck um, as well as a prolapsed disc in my neck. Um, I've also fractured my back and my pelvis, which I've dislocated as well. So pretty much everything is, is broken. Doctors feared she'd be paralysed, that she'd never be able to walk, let alone ride again. After three operations and four weeks in hospital, she took her first steps on the long road to recovery. The worst bit was when you first get there, the, the shock of seeing someone who you've you're sort of seen and so active um, and in such a, a state, if you like, it was, it was horrible. Our doctor flew out to um, Rotterdam as well and he came in and he just told me, you know, 110% now Rio is out of the equation. But I've got a lot to, to look forward to still. My career had only really just, or has only really just started, so I'm, I can only look forward from here, really. For six years, the velodrome in Manchester has been Vicky's second home. But for the next few months, as her teammates gear up for the Olympics, she'll be watching, just hoping she can compete again. I'm going to get back on a bike eventually. I've got no time scale yet, but I don't know to what level I'll be able to get to. But I'll give it a good go, whatever. You know, I've got the full support team behind me. I've got physios, doctors, and we've got the world's best. So I've got every chance of getting back to where I was. So if I have faith in them and I believe in myself, I'll get back, hopefully. Another day, another hospital trip for yet another scan. Nervous? Uh, not really, no. I'm just excited to see what the outcome is really and just see how everything's healing. I'm looking forward to it. As an elite sportswoman, Vicky is being very closely monitored to ensure her rehabilitation runs smoothly. She has five screws helping her back to heal. When you tear the ligaments and everything, bits of bone can be pulled off. She's got youth on her side, but it is very surprising. She's done very well. She's obviously got strong musculature and she can get up quite quickly but um, at the same time we don't want to wake, get her up too quickly because we want the, the wounds to heal and also the pelvis to heal. He seemed really positive didn't he? Uh, definitely yeah yeah and um, but you can see I can walk on it so that's you know that was great to take my first few steps without crutches yeah really good you know I'm walking that's a massive step so today's a good day. So a ray of hope Rio's ruled out, but Tokyo 2020 beckons in the land of the rising sun. Tom Williams, BBC Look East, Manchester.